Hey, what up YouTube? This is me, Ruben. Um, I'm about to install my ATI Radeon graphics card onto my system. As you can see right there, that's my XFX HD 4770 graphics card. Uh, yeah, I got it a couple of days ago, but you know, I was back at my university. Just came back to my home today. Alright, so I'm about to install it. Uh, and let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm about to take it out of the static electricity bag. Okay, as you can see, I'm, I'm wearing gloves. I just prefer to wear gloves when I, you know, handle computer parts. Alright, so let's see. Uh, that's the PCI Express 2.0 16x slot, the top one. Okay. Uh, it's kind of crowded in here. Might have to move things around a little bit. All right. So I got rid of the power cable. I disconnected it. About to install it. Here we go. Uh, Okay, so here we go. Align the things properly and push the card in. And there it is. It's it's snugly fit in and seems like I'm gonna need to screw it in. Uh, let's see if my screwless up. It's not a tight fit, so I'll probably have to use a screw despite the case being a screwless one. Uh, okay, that's that. Okay, so I'm about to connect the power connector, the 6 pin power connector. Uh, okay, that's done. Now I need to find a screw that fits the slot. Well, it seems like I don't need a screw after all because the screwless design thing snapped back onto place so the card is secure right now so let's uh, plug everything back in and power it up and see how it goes alright so we're all set and let's turn on the computer and see how it goes Uh, as you can hear, the card started up, which is always a good sign, and the fan is spinning, and there you go. Let's, uh, oh, seems like you didn't really get that. Oh, my bad. Okay, well, there it is. There is the card, right there. Spinning. This is my CPU and that's my case fan. That's the power supply. Oh, the CPU is an AMD Phenom 2x4 945 uh, 95 watt 3.0 gigahertz processor. The motherboard is an AM uh, my uh, As Asus M4A78TE. Motherboard and the uh, power supply is a Corsair 620HX 620 watt modular. That's the hard drive. It's a Western Digital 640GB Caviar Blue. Alright, and the computer has started up, and I think it's time to download the latest drivers and do some gaming all right I'll be back well uh, I lost one of my PCIe actually P is, yeah it's a PCIe 1.0 slot because the graphics card is pretty fat but I'm not too worried about it because 
I don't think I'll be ever using it anyways so yeah it's a small price to be paid for a better graphics card okay there is ATI doing its thing installing the driver and the ATI catalyst and hopefully it doesn't take too long because I just can't wait until I try it out I got crisis demo installed let's see how good the graphics card is when I play the demo alright uh, I'm rebooting the system and let's see how it goes no problems as of right now oh there you go the the setup screen and Windows is starting hopefully it doesn't take too long because I don't want to stare at black screen for a long time that's an Acer 23 inch uh, 1080p monitor Oop, there you go please wait and seems like we're good to go oh by the way that's uh, Logitech quick cam pro webcam and great success the graphics card is working great okay let's change some things around okay uh, here we are installed everything and I ran the Windows experience index and as you can see the the CPU got a 7.3 the memory got a 7.5 don't really know why that happened because it's just a DDR3-1333 operating at 667 megahertz the graphics card for both gaming and aero both got 7.2 as expected and the only weak point is the hard disk which you know compared to the solid state disk it's not gonna perform any better than 5.9 but I'm happy with it don't think I'll ever get a solid state disk because I don't think it's necessary. And yeah, now it's time to play some games.